It's a lady in London here, and today I'm in the Cotswolds. I've taken the train from London to Morton and Marsh, and I'm gonna do a big circular walk around the area with some friends. I can't wait to show you around. If you're coming from London, it's easy to get to Morton and Marsh on a direct train from Paddington Station. Wherever you come from, Morton and Marsh Station is a good place to start this walk. Your first stop will be the town itself, where you'll see lots of Cotswold stone buildings that this area is famous for. Soon you'll turn down a side street and find yourself on the Monarch's Way. This is a long distance footpath in England that loosely replicates the route of Charles II after his defeat at the Battle of Worcester in 1651 at the end of the English Civil War. You'll walk along the Monarch's Way for a while, past fields, alongside hedges and over streams. It's a bucolic start to the walk and it's a great introduction to the English countryside in the Cotswolds. Eventually you'll come to Longborough, a beautiful English village that's a quintessential Cotswold spot. There's a village pub here if you want to take a break for lunch or a drink, and it has a great beer garden too. From Longborough, you'll head out onto the heart of England Way. This is another long distance footpath. The trail will take you alongside fields and you'll get great views of the landscapes in the Cotswolds as you go. The next stop is a bit of an unusual surprise. It's a delightful country house in the middle of the Cotswolds with fanciful architecture that resembles Indian architecture from the Mughal Empire. Soon you'll come to the village of Borton on the Hill. This pretty place is full of quintessential Cotswold cottages, a red phone box, a historic church, a pub, and more. Next, you'll walk alongside an arboretum, which you can visit if you want to. It's full of trees and plants from all over the world. Afterwards, you'll continue your walk through beautiful fields studded with sheep and other animals.
Soon the walk will take you back towards Morton and Marsh. There's a lot of pretty countryside as you go, so make sure to have your camera ready. The walk ends back at the station where you can take a train back to London or wherever your final destination is. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this walk. As always, the full route and map are on my blog, aladyinlondon.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy walking.